We're halfway through the Milwaukee night market season. Tomorrow's night market opens at 5 o'clock downtown. It takes over Wisconsin Avenue. We're joined by one of the organizers, Stacy Callis, and a market vendor organ, uh, organizer, uh, Ariel Ojeda with Outwoken Tea. Stacy, let's start with you. Uh, you're so weather dependent. Last year, weather not the best. We had the pandemic before that. What's it been like to have the gorgeous weather these Wednesday nights? and to be back in full swing. We've been so fortunate um, in July. We think about 30,000 people came to the market. So people are really excited that it's back. They're coming out. They're enjoying the Milwaukee summers right in the heart of downtown Milwaukee. And you have brought one of your vendors with you Outwoken Tea. Tell us about the company that, uh, that you have created and uh, the, the products you're making for everybody. Well, we source teas from small farmers in developing countries. Everything's home compostable and every purchase plants a tree. So we're tea with an impact. Tell me about this one. This is a blue tea. I see in the back it's color changing. Yes. What is special about this? So the butterfly pea flower in there turns it blue naturally. And okay. if you add lemon, it'll change to a magenta. Ooh. Yeah. So a little bit of acid in there brightens it up and mm -hmm. changes the color for you. Uh, how many vendors do we have on a Wednesday night this summer? Well, we have about 100 vendors every Wednesday. We have about 140 throughout the four market season. Ariel's one of those diverse vendors. So anything from food and beverage to arts and crafts, the night market really supports local entrepreneurs. And, you know, we have a diverse lineup of, mar of, of market vendors that we think people will love. What's this meant for your business to have this showcase where people are turning out in such huge huge numbers and you get to show off to them. Oh, it's a great opportunity to show that, you know, there are great local small businesses making a difference in the community and setting an example that it is possible to do something good for the earth and the people at the same time. Where did you get the idea for this for this business, focusing in on tea? Um, well, tea was for my health and the compostable packaging is because I've been in construction for many years mm -hmm. and I wanted to make a difference for the environment. I think you are, definitely through this. I mean, you, even these plastic bags are yep, compostable. Yeah, that is wood cellulose. I didn't know they could do that in clear. Yeah. That is just amazing. Um, give us a range of who people can find down there tomorrow night. I know it's foods from all different uh, cultures and ethnicities. What do we cram into that couple blocks there on Wisconsin yeah, Avenue? It's a whole world. It is, and it's, it's food trucks, which people love. So you mm. can come down, grab uh, dinner from one of the about 20 plus food trucks that we have there. We have food and beverage uh, vendors like Ario there. We also have local makers, so clothes, um, we have jewelry, anything craft related, but also we have, uh, you know, plants, we have honey. There's just such a range of products there that, you know, we're excited to offer that to the public. How have you seen a change since the first year? I know we were really excited to have it that first year, but it seems to be so much more today than it was then. It's really becoming a Milwaukee institution. It's one of those very well-loved events that people put on their calendar and the crowds are just amazing. And they're coming out and they're also exploring our downtown neighborhood, which is really cool because yeah. it's changing. We have the Third Street Market Hall right there. We have the new uh, Bradley Symphony Center, mm -hmm. and, which are both open to the public during during the night market. And so, and Ariel, if somebody does can't come down and they still want to know about your products, are you online anywhere? Where can people find this? Yes, for sure. You can just go to www.outwokentea.com or my Instagram. You're on Insta? <laughs> yes, Just at Outwoken Tea, and you can shop directly on my catalog too. We got you hooked up. Yes. All right, yes. thank you both for coming in. We really appreciate that. Thank you. Again, the Milwaukee Night Market is tomorrow from 5 till 10 p.m. on West Wisconsin Avenue between 2nd Street and Vell Phillips.